Welcome back to the restaurant show, Vegan Never Tasted So Good. And we are here to find out exactly why. We're joined now by Sage and Lily from the Cheese Factory Restaurant. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Thank you. Good to be here. I need not say that this is such an impressive spread that you always bring, but what are we going to be making today? So today we're making a really simple but very, very tasty recipe that we call our chipotle black beans. And so okay. we'll get right into it. All right, excellent, um, excellent. We're gonna prepare the beans by uh, heating up some vegetable oil. Sure. And then adding our onions. Okay, cool. We're gonna sweat the onions out with a little bit of garlic. Awesome. And then Lily's gonna add the rest of the vegetables sure. and the beans uh, as we go along. Okay, Spicy. and you know, I think it's important for viewers because there's probably a lot of people who are seeing uh, your segment for the first time. So talk to us a little bit about how a vegan restaurant gets a name like Cheese Factory. We get asked that question a lot because it seems so unlikely. Yeah. The fact is that in the 1940s, the building that we're in now used to be a, a cheese market, Wisconsin's largest uh, retail cheese market. And so uh, when we opened our vegetarian restaurant over 25 years ago in that location, we decided to keep the name Cheese Factory. Mm -hmm. And then several years ago when we switched to a vegan menu, we changed the S in cheese to a Z. Yeah. And there you go. There what you a, go. The cheese so you wanted factory. to keep the name but let people know that it wasn't really real cheese there. Yes. So well that's cool. And and then uh, you've got some dishes that you brought that all utilize the chipotle black bean recipe. So can yes. you talk to us a little bit about what you brought here? So while Lily is getting the beans uh, process, we're mm -hmm. gonna show you with this one recipe, which by the way is in our cookbook okay. right here, awesome. uh, what was happening was a, a lot of our customers would ask for our recipes when they would come in and taste the food. So we finally just put together a small cookbook with 24 of the most popular uh, requests. And uh, the black bean, the chipotle black beans, are used in a number of different ways here. The first one here is our fajita, which contains okay. the black beans, rice, sweet potatoes, chorizo sausage, garnished with fresh avocado, sour cream, and salsa. And then the second dish that we have here is what we call our rattlesnake tofu. Rattlesnake, I'm guessing that has to do with the look of how, how yeah, that looks. Yeah, we used to have a cook uh, whose name is Theo. Hi, Theo. <laughs> um, years ago, who had a kind of quirky sense of humor, and he thought that the, the, the tofu looked a little rattlesnake-ish. Okay. And so we said, okay, great, let's just call it rattlesnake tofu. And it's, works. it's been rattlesnake the tofu for 25 years. Yeah. And we have a little black beans we serve with that yeah. and our house salsa. Awesome. And then um, we also have here what we call a um, black bean taco, which is also okay. filled with um, uh, sweet potatoes, grilled veggies, um, cheese, and that's served with corn tortilla chips and our house salsa. Okay, very good. Very so good. we're also going to show you how you can build a... Um, what do you call this again? Nachos? Uh, nachos. nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Chipotle black bean nachos. So many things okay. to remember. How long does uh, this typically take to cook? I mean, is it done now? Well, it's it's not fully cooked. Okay. We, you'd have to simmer it for a good 20 sure. minutes to half an hour. But we get the idea. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're okay. going to do a little black beans on this, a little more we can okay. do. And then what we would do here is, yeah, that's good. And then we do a layer of salsa Oh, okay. over this. And you make this salsa. Yes, we do everything. 90% yeah. uh, of our food is homemade from scratch. We do use some, here's a little salsa, some store-bought items, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about in just a moment. Okay. Then, like for example, this. This is our uh, grated cheese, which obviously cheese is plant-based cheese. <laughs> yes, it's made from uh, pea protein wow. and coconut oil, but it's very tasty. Yeah. And then we'll do a, uh, a little jalapeno business on mm -hmm. top here. That's some serious nacho business right you there. Bet. I mean, that's and not any, I mean. Top it off with some sour cream, <laughs> vegan, of course. Yes, but that's a, that's a serious, you know, I, I'm, I'm curious to know, I mean, how do non-vegans react? We've talked about this a little bit, but how yeah. do non-vegans react when they find out that they're eating vegan? Well, you know, uh, We've had a lot of different reactions. Mm -hmm. uh, every now and then you get, some people are very upset about the fact that, you know, they didn't know we were vegan, but for the most part. <laughs> We've been duped. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. 
<laughs> but for the most part, once they decide to give it a chance sure. and taste the food, they just love it. Yeah. Because it's really tasty, yeah. I have to say. Even if I do say so. And it, it, is it true that you've had customers in the past that didn't believe that they were eating vegan? We have a story about this gentleman who uh, we had an appetizer that we were doing a special of that day with using an oyster mushroom that we grilled with garlic and mm -hmm. olive oil. And one of the servers came back to the kitchen and said, this guy doesn't believe he's not eating meat. Could you please go out and talk to him? So I literally had to bring an oyster mushroom out on a plate raw and show him that he was eating, actually eating a mushroom. Wow. So, yeah, we, we get all kinds of great stories. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And some of our popular dishes, you can ask Lily, she yeah. knows. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what are some I mean, of the more popular dishes? It's that you great. Well, we have um, a special, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a while, it's called the Lederhosen. The Lederhosen. <laughs> yes. I love it. It's a comfort food. It's okay. really, really good. It has mashed potatoes, onion, and sauerkraut with. Uh, a dog, like a Frank Wiener, like okay. cut up in it, but sure. big chunks. Yeah. And our honey mustard sauce, which is mm. so good, out wow. of this world good. And it's just, you want to just dig in and just yeah. feel at home. Okay. okay. And Comfort another food. one, yeah, yeah. No, another one is the pancakes. Okay. Yeah. Which I have to say, I hated American pancakes. I'm not American. <laughs> I didn't like them. These I love. Those you love. So, yeah. Well, the, I'm excited to get to the good stuff here yes. because you brought some of your banana crunch cake and you yep. wanted me to try some That's of this. That's right, so right. I'm going to take a little bit of a bite or a large bite of this. We, um, we have our in house bakery, which, of course, mm. it's all plant based. It's all vegan we make everything from scratch it doesn't taste like that though I know a lot of customers <laughs> come in just for dessert That's um, incredible. because yeah, you wouldn't you know, miss anything being able right. to find a really delicious vegan dessert is not easy uh, cookbook available on your website or in your restaurant yes cookbook available on Amazon mm -hmm. and uh, at the restaurant excellent Sage and Lily thank you so much it's for joining us today vegan never tasted so good head on up <laughs> to the cheese factory restaurant in the Dells and there is more restaurant show coming up right after the break